It's 120 degrees. Why aren't you sweating? In the first place, I don't sweat. I perspire. And in the second place, I don't perspire. <laughs> Charming place, an inflamed boil on the buttocks of the world. What is that odor? What sort of suit do you mind? Not at all. Finish! You have not done the corners. Finish! You haven't made my bed. Finish! surgery at Boston General in this godforsaken dump. Me, man who can hum all four parts of the Schubert String Quartets and quote Spinoza from memory. Well, that's the arm. Thank you. A uh, gentleman, with all due respect to your national costume, could we all please hold the bowing to a minimum? Just one sort of group bow when I leave. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anyone I haven't changed? I think Major finish off all people. Good, because I have to be getting back. Thank you all, gentlemen, very much. I hope this little transaction has helped to cement the bonds of friendship between our two great nations. Very well, now you may bow. Oh, thank you. I can't they just shake hands like everybody else. You just have to kill the germs. You don't have to hang around to the funeral. Look how high he's scrubbing. Maybe he's going to operate at evening clubs. Gentlemen, I do one thing at a time. I do it very well, and then I move on. Clear for water. I'm a little busy, Major. No, you insubordinate desert riff. Riff. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, may a pregnant camel give birth in your bunk. <laughs> I'm thug. <laughs> you order me in. You order me out. Make up your mind. Where do you want me? Black hole of Calcutta? Step on it. My flag is down, sir. Desperate. Charles, someone has been sending secret reports to the Inspector General about Colonel Potter. That's why he's packing it in. And someone has been insisting that you were the informer. Some nut. And you chose to believe this provocateur? You can't call me that. <laughs> I might have known. There are no informers in my family. Winchesters do not spy. We do on occasion hire them. Uh, okay, it's a dumb thing to do. We apologize. Oh, stupid jerks. It's come to this. I have just used the word jerk. Well, we're all slowing down, Charles. I love the way this boy tugs at my leg. A lot of bulldog in you. I bet you went to Yale. Have it. Ladies and gentlemen, are you all right, Major? Of course, I'm all right. <laughs> Better than I've ever seen me. Don't forget, gentlemen, that I'm a Winchester. Write that down. He's a Winchester. <laughs> <laughs> all I have to do is set my mind to something, and eventually, inevitably, I conquer it. I needn't tell you again. I won't be happy until I am out of here. I have even contemplated shooting myself in the foot. But you know how much I enjoy the annual Debs Cotillion? Bail! Honey cat, honey cat. The contingency does not exist for which I am not prepared. You name it, I've done it successfully. Corporal, uh, you're a good fellow. Uh, run into the swamp and fetch my opera glasses, will you? Opera glasses? Yes, to watch the race. I can't guarantee my vantage point. Your vantage what? Wow. 
lousy piece of liverwurst and that's it? That's ample reward for opening a can. You're not going to share this with your bunkies? My bunkies have palates that are obviously more attuned to spam on a shingle. <laughs> you mean you're going to make us just sit here and watch you eat? No. That would be sadistic. I will go elsewhere. Blow and wipe. How do you I have met a lot of people in my life. You are not among them. Bless you anyway, creep. Now, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> I thought I told you kids to change your diapers. Not till he stops tooting. Well, never! However, there is no turn to. Goody. Put me in different quarters. Fine, there's an empty bunk with the enlisted men. Enlisted men? It's totally unacceptable. Rather wear a gas mask. Good, wear it. Just don't play it. Malodorous <laughs> trolls. I think I should tell you that my father knows Harry Truman. He doesn't like him, but he knows him. Fine. You have Dad call Harry. Then Harry will call me, and maybe we'll work something out. In the meantime, vamoose. All right, Colonel, I am bamboozing. But know this. You can cut me off from the civilized world. You can incarcerate me with two moronic cellmates. You can torture me with your thrice daily swill, but you cannot break the spirit of a Winchester. My voice shall be heard from this wilderness, and I shall be delivered from this fetid and festering sewer. <laughs>